What up, this is your boy T Mizzle coming back again with another Marvel Future Fight video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Extreme Alliance battle for Universal Hero Day. Uh, we're going to go with the lineup, Medusa as lead, Odin and Thor. And I don't want to make this video too long, so let's go ahead and jump right into the stats first of what we need to have on Odin to maximize his damage. Uh, first of all, he's energy attack based, so make sure you boost the energy attack as high as you possibly can. Make sure your cooldown is maxed. If you don't know what max is, max is 50%. So if you're in an alliance, make sure you take uh, the bonus you get from your alliance into effect. And that would be for the same for crit damage as well. I think you get 14% for both the uh, crit damage and cooldown in a level 30 alliance. So make sure you have uh, the crit damage as high to max as possible, which is 186. I'm about 3% short. And your defense pin at 50% is max for that and you should be good to go. Now because of Odin's attack and his attack speed, uh, we need to make sure we increase that as much as possible. 130% is max. If you can max it, that's great. That allows him to attack faster and uh, so, so that way he can dodge the meteors and keep the bar up as long as possible. So again, his attack speed is very important. It's gonna help you dodge those meteors as uh, much as possible and keep your bar up which is going to allow you to score more points in alliance battle all right uh, for your iso set i'm personally going to recommend the uh one of the damage proc iso sets that's going to be power of the angry hawk overdrive and next for the gear you want to rock an immune to guard break gear uh, it's going to keep you from getting guard broken from the beast which is going to allow you to do more damage uh, there are some that say you don't need it, but personally, I think it works better. So make sure you get one of those and you want to have at least 140% bonus damage proc on it. Um, if you don't have that, just use the damage, you know, hopefully you have at least a 120. Um, but anyway, 140 or higher is going to give you much better results. Okay. And moving right along, I think we now let's go right into some battle. I'm just going to basically uh, let the, the, let the gameplay ride and I will tell you a few I um few things you need to know while it's playing and uh, yeah we'll go from there so let's go ahead and get right into some gameplay all right let's go and start this off we are ready for your frost beast we're coming to take over okay real quick guys uh, just want to make sure I, I uh, point this out. As you notice, the activate custom gear skill and the blue text on the screen there, that lets you know that your gear proc has just went off. So right now I have 140% increased damage um, because the uh, blue text lets me know that right now I have five seconds to do as much damage as possible to this beast before that proc is over. So make sure you try to get that number five skill Activate it and use on the beast if you can during that time frame or if not make sure you get as much Hits in on the beast if you can during the uh, five second that your proc has went off Okay, so make sure you remember that look for the blue text use that five skill as possible if possible And of course like I said if you can't just make sure you do as much damage in those five seconds as you can Okay, so let's keep it moving And as you can see, I'm trying to attack and then move so I can keep that bar up as long as possible. Uh, right now, I have a good run going and I'm doing pretty good here at the start of the battle. Um, there are a couple of things that I can see that I did wrong, but like right there, I, I, sh I went way too long without using a skill, even though I was trying to dodge the meteors. Uh, I think I could have did a lot better. So again, try to move, but not too much because the thing you need to understand about those meteors is that if you use the micro movement, that way it keeps you from moving too fast right into a fallen meteor, okay? And there we got blue text and we're gonna to try to use that. There we go. That was blue text and a five skill right there. That to me is going to help you get bigger scores in alliance battle and there we go again i saw the blue text i used that five skill immediately to make sure i got as many points as i can get from the beast also to note um what i what i normally try to do uh first of all you need to learn 
the pattern of the beast okay you need to kind of understand his different attacks and his moves because uh the number three skill gives you a barrier that makes you pretty much immune to damage so throughout the video what i look for when i'm playing my last battle is i know when that beast is going to leap because that's the really the only time i get worried is when he leaps so i always try to either use that three skill when i know he's going to leap and i can't avoid it or if I feel like I'm in danger, I use that three skill if it's available, okay? Other than that, you know, that's really the only purpose is for it to protect you. And like I said, try to get damage skills off when the proc goes off. But if you feel yourself in danger of getting hit by too many meteor or the uh, mobs or the beast, use that number three skill because that's going to protect you. It's going to put that bubble around you, okay? Other than that, just keep doing as much damage as possible. Stick and move, stick and move. That was my proc. Got my skills off. Honestly, this 210,000 run could have been a easily 220, 230. I think just looking at it now, thinking back, some of the times I could have used more skills, but I didn't. I was worried about the meteor, and I shouldn't have been. So anyway, like I said, it's what we're here for to learn. And uh, just looking at this gameplay just kind of helped me just realize some things I could have did better. In the heat of the moment, it's hard to do everything, but nevertheless. And there we go. That was the blue text and that number five skill. So overall, man, that was a pretty decent run, 210,000. Um, I, I have scored a higher run already, but uh, this video is the one I have recorded. So I wanted to make sure I show you guys. Hopefully, it'll give you some ideas, some tips on some things that help you out I don't know you know I can't say what you're doing wrong what you're doing when you're playing this but uh, anyway that's that's kind of what what you want to look for when you're doing that okay um, if this helped you if this helped you out at all make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe for more of this kind of content I want to try to make as many videos as I can to help you out and of course if you something that in particular you're looking for make sure you hit me up in the comment section and I'll get back to you but again, this is your boy T. Mizzle, and I'll see you on the next video.